I'm gonna show you how you can make a flat share cookie. Thank you for coming to my kitchen today. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna dress up this little bunny. I'm gonna make a little shirt and it's gonna be a plaid shirt. So first, you're gonna need to put white flooding icing all over your cookie and let it dry for a little bit. And then I prepare a little bit of electric green icing, also in the same flooding consistency. Okay, then you're gonna put the icing where you think your shirt is gonna be okay there are different ways on how to do plaid designs on cookies I'm gonna show you one that is gonna be with icing and watercolor it's gonna be super easy and then there's another technique that you can do it using different colors of icing okay but for this one, I'm going to use the easy route of the watercolor that um, lately I'm a little bit obsessed about that technique because I don't have too much time to do my tutorials and my cookies and I find that technique super easy and super fast and not messy. I don't have to wash too many decorating tips and pastry bags. So, okay, you're going to do like this, and then you're going to let it dry, and also I'm going to prepare a little bit of turquoise um, royal icing, I'm not sure if turquoise or pink, maybe pink, to make a little bow, and that one is going to be using a firm consistency to make his bow tie okay so it looks a little bit like this so for this you're gonna shake your cookie and let the bubbles out oops okay don't worry it's still a little fresh okay then I'm going to use these pearls to make the bottoms of the shirt okay and then I'm gonna let them dry so when it's completely dry we're gonna mark the lines to make the plaid Okay, let it dry. Very good. Now that your cookie is completely dry, you are going to do the plaid design on this cookie. I'm going to use also the watercolor technique and I'm going to start by doing some turquoise lines. This is a very easy technique, okay? Then I'm going to wash my brush and use pink color. So the other lines I'm going to do them in the other direction. are ready using a finer brush I'm going to do a 
some very fine orange lines. Then also I'm going to do again though with a finer brush again the turquoise color. Okay, I hope you like it. I really like to mix different brushes so you can add thicker and thinner lines to your plaid shirt okay so I'm gonna finish up and this is a 3d bunny and when I like when I make 3d cookies I like all the sides to look nice so from the other side I make this other design that also looks very cute and I use the same technique Okay, let me continue with this one. I'm gonna use some pink to do the ears. To make his little nose and also I'm gonna do his eye oops oh it doesn't look blue I'm sorry okay let me add the green okay you're gonna let it dry and then you're gonna put it in his grass insert. I hope you like it. It's gonna look like this, or it's gonna look like that. Uh, I need to make his little bow tie also. Okay, thank you very much. Happy Easter, everyone. I hope you like these ideas and you get creative and make lots and lots of cookies okay see you next time and please subscribe and share it with your friends bye bye hold on hold on before saying goodbye i want to talk a little bit about how i did the grass insert and this is a little clip that i made before enjoy for the table decorations i also made this cute bunny uh, and I'm gonna do a plaid shirt design on it and I make the grass insert for this one using coffee beans covered in chocolate and different kinds of sprinkles okay so you're gonna have three different cookies ideas on how to decorate your cookie okay for the for this um, cookie I think so I'm gonna use this grass insert that I make using the edible moss so I can balance it and then for the other one I'm gonna use this one okay let's see how they look I think this is it thank you very much and happy Easter everyone bye